there then folks, the day's finally arrived. Uh, I've got the Hades that I'm going to do the shot string with. Uh, I've got plenty of pellets to do it. I've sorted for all 15.89 grains. So we'll sh see how, uh, how it gets on. So let's get on with the test. Eleven point three. Eleven point one. Eleven point six. Eleven point five. Eleven point seven. Eleven point six. Eleven point six. Eleven point three. Eleven point six. Eleven point five. Eleven point eight. Eleven point nine. Eleven point eight. Eleven point seven. shot that uh, was fired empty. I do keep an eye on that so we don't lose many shots. Got an average of eleven point six so far. Eleven point three Eleven point seven. Eleven point nine. Eleven point seven. Eleven point four. Eleven point seven. Eleven point two. Eleven point nine. Eleven point six. Eleven point five. Eleven point seven. Eleven. Point four. Eleven point eight. Eleven point six. Okay. Twenty eight. Now these have been found to be the most efficient pellet. The power 
and consistency I think. Normally the rifle gets around 100 shots, 110 maybe. Let's see what this one gets. Now I wasn't able to uh, fine tune the regulator like I could on the Robert Lane because I was never sure on where it was at on this. Unlike on the Lancets and the Humers, they're marked off in 5 bar increments. It was just painted on this one. This is one of the earlier Ultra Ops. I think the later ones I've got uh, five bar increments marked off, but this one hasn't. <coughs> okay, the rest of the shots I'll probably speed through now just to uh, stop the board and we'll come to it at the end. Hope the weather stays on side. He's counted.
Eleven. Point. Five. Eleven. Point. Seven. Eleven. Point. Six. Eleven. Point. Seven. Eleven. Point. Five. Eleven. Point. Seven. Eleven. Point eight. Eleven. Point six. Eleven. Point eight. I've actually run out of those pellets. Uh, so I reckon it's capable, well it's definitely capable of uh, 180 shots, it's probably capable of doing 200 shots on a, on a film. Uh, nothing went over 12 which is good. Uh, I think we had about 4 that came in at 12. But uh, the average is 11.6, the highest 12. The lowest 10.8 we had, I think we had one at 10.8 and a couple, two or three that came in at 10.9. I've got a feeling that's when it was just about to come off the regulator, or off the regulator, because after that it crept up slightly, which it's doing now. So I think all these shots are probably off regulator, and they're all based on, uh, on that really, I think. Uh, so not too bad really. If we look at the uh, feet per second, that gives us an average of 572, a high of 582, which is normally the case. I think the last few tests I've done on these, it's always been 10 feet per second between the average and the high. The low is 5.52, so the spread of 30, standard deviation 5.7. Uh, I think it's when it delved into the 12s and the 5.8 that's upset the apple cart on it, to be honest. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's not going to make any difference. What I did find I had to do, some of the shots that weren't recording because it was all going through the same hole, a big black hole. I'm not sure if that was upsetting the the flight path and it's not picking up so I, I bought the scope lower down to pick up some more paper that's why the hole is stretched out and it started picking them up again uh, let's see so there's the graph you can see the low ones in there that upset it and most of them between, are between 560 and 580, looking at that. Uh, the spikes above 580 were the uh, 12, and the, uh, uh, the 12 was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 12 foot pounds. And you've got about 1, 2, 3, 4, probably about 6 or 7 at not uh, 5.9. So most of them are between that band, so I would say the majority of this, if we discounted the 12s, 5 nines and the, uh, the 
10.8s and 10.9s most of it fall between uh, 20 feet per second spread oh yeah that's okay so uh, that's basically the two I don't think I'm going to mess with it because these did work out more efficient than any other pellet so well, I don't think anything's going to go over 12 which shouldn't do anyway I can always uh, tweak it down a, a bit of a turn on the uh, hammer but uh, I think that concludes the testing for the shot string so we are getting between 180 to 200 shots compared to about 110 on a standard uh, and because they open up the transfer port it makes the rifle more efficient so you can bring down the the actual pressure on the regulator so you're getting uh, more out of lower volume so that's how you end up getting more shot but you then have to be careful that you've got to bring the ammo spin down to compensate for the high power so uh, thanks for watching uh, the range test that I'll have to wait now until the end of the lockdown which is probably about another three weeks time so I can't do much more about that it's like the retail rifle can't do much more with that because it's too noisy but I have ordered a uh, silencer adapter for that which hopefully I'll be able to do some testing with it uh, I've ordered it from Poland if it fits and works I will put down the link for it if anybody wants to buy one if they've got one of these rifles so I would imagine not only the, uh, the synthetic uh, tactical retail but all the others will be the same so you'll need to adapt those for moderators so if it works I'll down yet load you the link for that uh, and basically that's it for now so uh, I will see you in the next video